Nothing has changed for advanced actions? Mm -hmm. Here I disclosed one part of the image by hiding three objects. The bottom object is a mnemonic displayed for the rest of the project. On top of it another image, back of the card, displayed for the rest of the project. The top object is a clickbox to trigger an advanced action. It's not possible to set this for the rest of the project because it's an interactive object. Now let's have a look at the advanced action triggered by a clickbox. Because for the back of the card I have an image and a clickbox, I need two statements. One to hide the image, the other to hide or to disable the clickbox. In version 6 I grouped the mnemonics which enables me to hide show them all at once. I replace the image plus click box by one smart chip button and group those buttons as well. Watch the star symbol indicating a smart chip. It has a posing point and can be displayed for the rest of the project. Look in the properties panel at the star icon and at the checked option use as button. And in the advanced action I now only have to hide the shape button because interactive object and image are one object. On entering the last slide I have to hide a lot of objects. In Captivate 5.5 that was very tedious. I needed conditional action because I had two images here. Only one image, so a standard action will do in this new version. But look, with those groups it's so easy.